He's, that's his weakness, um, yeah. for sure. That's his probably, yeah, I, I'd say his biggest weakness um, is Emily. And, but um, also his only weakness? I think his only weakness. I think he's, oh, yeah. Silencio. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. No. Um, I think, I th yeah, his, his, and that's going to be taken advantage of, of course, and um, because that's her, that's the way she infiltrates my family through me, and um, it's, but, you, but you're going to see, you know, we're going to get, we are going to get back together, but you're going to see it's not the same as, as it was, and um, she, she's got so much going on, and obviously she has this new man, Aiden, and she has Jack to think about, and she has the fat, you know, her whole you know, agenda to think about. So, so yeah, I, she's gonna. It's 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 not gonna be how it was, but you'll see. Uh, without, I can't really give anything away, but we do get back together, and uh, you'll see how that unfolds. Um, well, <clears throat> he's uh, he's too decent for his own good. Um, he's always. Uh, but in fairness to him, he's got. He's he's really up against it there, like um, if he he didn't want to take because um, uh, the only other option was to let th un uh, someone else go to jail, um, not not just Declan, but the uh, but he could have he could have backed off and gone well. And this guy actually was the one who's guilty of of, uh, of killing their father, but he didn't want to take. Him out of his, the, the lives of his children, so he's you know he's just always trying to do the right thing, um, but he always gets uh, gets screwed. I think he's he's sort of supposed to be kind of I think a little avatar for us for the working class kind of you know for um, we're not he's he's the most kind of relatable I think I mean everyone has relatable qualities but I think he had he's the most mm. Um, generally relatable, and so when something bad happens to him, we feel bad. We get we get angry, um, especially since he's you know he hasn't blurred any lines yet. He hasn't he's not really doing anything wrong. Um, so we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. Well, it's uh, he, he I think he's been craving it. You know he had a taste of it, so he wanted more and more and more. And um, which led him to take over the whole company and to, you know, in my mind I had this idea maybe that he was doing it for Emily and that maybe if he got it, then she would come back, which is kind of funny because she did. But um, it's, it's definitely been more interesting to play um, and to, to have a different dynamic rather than, a, you know, just the pining love thing going on. So it was nice to have that bit more of a, I guess a darker side, because it's more working off ego and power and, you know. But it's, it was, it was, it's been fun. I hope it can, yeah, continues, it's, bit, it's cool. Well, yeah, I, th I think, you know, at, at the end there, we started to see, at the end of this last episode, um, actually, maybe it was the previous episode. Um, Don't. I think it was the previous episode, actually. Uh, we start to see a little bit of this, a uh, little, little hint of him maybe going dark. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how much of that comes out. But like, I think Jack is capable of of going more like darker than we've seen. I think it depends on on how much of a threat there is to his family. <laughs>